Eric sanding down the hull to the formula. Hitting it with some 180. Go back, chase any of his things. So I need a body work and glass work done. Got a guide coat on there just to see where we're at and what we're starting with. Eric is finishing sanding the bottom. Already guy coated it, found some blisters, pretty good gel coat crazing, got those spots ground out, he's got to finish the rest of his guy, guy coat off. As soon as the guy's got all the grinding done, we are able to hand it off to Joe so Joe can go through replacing the skin on the transom. Joe's all set up to replace the outer skin on the transom. What are you doing, Joe? Three layers of mat, four layers of 1708, two layers of 1808. Wow. All right. I'm shifting to it. Joe has gotten his layup knocked down rather nicely on the transom skin. Catching up with Eric. He is getting our fiberglass repairs done on the formula hull. Remember, we had a number of spots ground out that were osmosis blisters as well as some deteriorated gel coat. Well, big day of sanding. Derek and Eric are blasting through, mowing down the fiberglass. Joe cleaning up, flattening out. Transom looks mint. The bodywork on the hull is complete from the final fairing of the transom to the blocking and fairing of the hull to the repair to our blister issue, our gel coat issue. That's where everything starts to come together. The product that we will be using on both vessels is our Duratec Ultra High Build. We're going to let Joe finish up getting the coats of Duratec on the hull. Join us in our next video update. And you see how we jump all over inside our interior liner right into our new composite vacuum-infused deck. So stay tuned. Keep following.